the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love What's up YouTube? Welcome back. All right, beautiful day in Michigan. Do another retaining wall. So they had this wall here. Whole thing collapsed. This is what we got. We're gonna go across here to there. Bingo, bango. Let's go. Another one bites the dust da. Uh. All right guys, these blocks that we're using, so they're not super pretty on the outside. They actually don't look bad, but there's no decorative face or anything. These are probably one of the most cost-efficient retaining wall blocks you can use. These are great if you're on a budget and you have a lot of like mass and area to hold up. They're 2,400 pounds a piece. They're super heavy. They're pretty quick to build. It's way more cost efficient than using like a small retaining wall block. You have a ton of labor, ton of extra materials that go into it. And these are perfect for this situation because this person had a retaining wall that wasn't even that old, which was made out of wood, which I always, I mean, some people like it, but I always suggest towards never using wood just for the fact of structurally, it's not as strong and especially in michigan with all the crazy moisture and frost and everything we get wood is just never ever on my list of materials to use for retaining wall but these blocks are the most inexpensive block you can buy as far as a large retaining wall block and perfect for if you're on a budget like i said day another dollar another dig another problem let's go all right guys we're uh at the pit right now getting some drainage stone that we need for this retaining wall that we're building look at that boy the old mccloskey jaw crusher it's for recycling all that concrete and then they got the cabelco with the hammer on it they prep it all up Pull the steel out and then run it through the crusher and make gravel. That's what we're after. Let's go. Waiting on the loader operator. Dude, what are you doing, bud? I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Time is money. Let's go. They don't care. It's not their money, though.
guys, for the base of these retaining walls, the material we use, we use a 21 AA crushed concrete. This is pretty much inch and a eighth or inch and a quarter minus. Has a bunch of fines in it. We do this, usually, typically, we like to go eight to 12 inches thick, and then we compact the base. And what we do is we use a laser level to shoot grade all the way across the area where we're building the wall. And that helps everything be super stable for a long lasting retaining wall. And then behind it, we typically use a three quarter inch crush natural stone for the drainage and we install a corrugated drain tile. Depending on the situation and the job, a lot of times we will use GeoGrid but on this one, we're just trying to save the customer as much money for building a long lasting retaining wall to hold up their yard. What's up YouTube? Welcome back, welcome back. Another beautiful day. Spring's here in Michigan. It's amazing. Building this wall. Should be wrapped up today, hopefully. Down this hill. Just got a few more blocks to put in. Hold in some backfill. So here's what we got so far. Gonna be a sunny day let's get to work got more jobs to do